Now to that developing story out of the town of Tonawanda. A group of neighbors are fighting to keep a crematory in their backyard from reopening. Right from the beginning, Mr. Amagon said how he wants to be a good neighbor. Well, reopening that crematory is not being a good neighbor. The Amagon Funeral Home is trying to reopen that crematory, but those neighbors are saying not so fast. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Sarah Johnson has more on their fight. And, you know, we're just the neighbors trying, trying our best to get our lives back. For more than 40 years, Nancy Vargo has called Workley Road in the town of Tonawanda home. It's a wonderful neighborhood. The neighbors are great. We're all close. Uh, the school system is wonderful. I raised three children here. But it's what's behind her home that has dozens in this tight-knit community concerned. Uh, we, we, as a town board, are here to support uh, the residents here. Uh, they've spoken uh, that they do not want a uh, crematorium offer, uh, operating 10 feet for their homes. Nancy says about 20 years ago, the Amagon funeral home directly behind her home began cremating on site. She says the smoke wasn't bad at first, but things quickly took a turn for the worse. In the summertime, you have to wipe your patio furniture a lot because there's soot, which we found out is human ash. Yeah, to think somebody from over there is laying on your table or your furniture. No, uh-uh, no. But for the last four years, things have been quiet. In May of 2012, the Department of Environmental Conservation issued a notice over violating environmental laws. Amagon Crematory suspended operations, but Wednesday, the company is heading back to court to determine if they are allowed to reopen. It has gotten better uh, recently since they have been closed. Amagon didn't respond to a request for comment. Place Meanwhile, several local political leaders, difference. both at the town uh, and this, county uh, levels, this. say they are behind residents and their desire for change. I can't imagine sitting back on the patio this summer and having to face the noise, the smell, the soot. It just, it just wasn't a pleasant experience. And my calls to Amagon were answered. I would told someone would get back to me regarding tomorrow's hearing. Tonight, I'm still waiting for those calls. Neighbors living behind Amagon say they will attend tomorrow's hearing together as a show of solidarity. We will continue to update you on the story, both online and on air. Reporting live from the newsroom, Sierra Johnson, 7 Eyewitness News.